going to talk about a study we performed looking at community engaged approaches for recruitment of racial and ethnic minority populations into clinical research. My name is Mark Whelan. I'm an associate professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic. And the title of the manuscript that will be appearing in Mayo Clinic Proceedings is Community Engaged Approaches for Minority Recruitment into Clinical Research, a Scoping Review of the Literature. So we know that racial and ethnic minority populations are underrepresented in clinical research and in clinical trials. And this is important because representative participation in research addresses health inequities and addresses gaps in the literature on effective prevention and treatment strategies for minority populations. This is not new. This has been a priority across national levels for some time to understand the barriers, especially since we know that willingness to participate in research is high among racial and ethnic minority groups, despite a legacy of understandable and justifiable mistrust. So this reflects a whole host of disproportionate structural barriers to research participation. Now, previous systematic reviews have consistently demonstrated that community engagement strategies are needed to promote effective recruitment of uh, racial and ethnic minority populations and to do so in an authentic way, but these mechanisms have not previously been articulated. So the purpose of this scoping review was to assess the state of the literature around community engaged strategies for recruitment of racial and ethnic minority populations into clinical trials. And we did that through um, a systematic search of the literature that resulted in 2,842 articles that were eventually culminated in 66 articles for inclusion in the review. And what we found on a broad scale is that there's a relatively large literature base of studies conve conveying details of community engaged approaches to enhance recruitment of minority research participants, but there was a paucity of literature comparing different community engaged research strategies. Then what we did was we took all of the results and we broke them down according to community engaged levels as shown in the table. And these levels start with the kind of the lowest level of community engagement, which is inform or information, where communities are provided with information about research opportunities. Recruitment findings from this strategy that was a very small number of studies was that on-site activities allow members of target populations to learn about the study and to establish relationships with the study team. Moving on then to consultation, which is where feedback is solicited from communities for research procedures, but there's no power in the communities. Those are usually operationalized through what are called community advisory boards, where input substantially changes initial recruitment plans were some of the findings, that these community advisory boards bring community voice to the research and the recruitment process and facilitate connection with difficult to reach stakeholders. The next level of community engagement is involvement, where communities are informed and also participate in research procedures. What we found there is that involvement of trusted community members and leaders is essential for reaching target populations, and that it's important for incorporating these contextual factors that may impact recruitment. The next level of engagement is called collaboration. That's where partnerships are formed. So it's not just study specific tasks, it's partnerships that are formed with communities to work together on all procedures of the research process. What we found there is that collaboration fosters trust between community and academic partners, and that breaks down barriers to recruitment. And recruitment is successful when community-based organizations or community partners are really the face of the research project, again, engendering trust throughout the community. And it's recruitment is successful when there are specific targeted benefits to community partners, often beyond the research. And in collaborative models, partnerships often precede funding, which is an important principle of especially participatory approaches to research. The last level of community engagement is called co-leadership, which involves robust partnerships with communities who hold decision-making power over all aspects of the research procedures. The recruitment findings there are that community partners and participants become advocates for the study because they have complete ownership over the study. It includes participatory partnerships that extend beyond the individual studies and can lead to re recruitment efforts that are sustainable and go from dissemination of study results for one study into recruitment for subsequent studies. Recruitment strategies emerge entirely from the communities and it relies on community strengths and resources, often with mutual benefits beyond research and these partnerships precede project conception. So our conclusions then are that a relatively large number of studies exist that in a descriptive matter demonstrate community engaged approaches 
for integration of minority populations into clinical trials. The majority of studies engage diverse community stakeholders in, in a recruitment process, often through study specific or sometimes long-term community advisory boards. Studies describe recruitment activities across the spectrum of community engagement, the entire spectrum that I went over on the table. And then finally, there's a paucity of data on effectiveness of the different levels of community engagement for research recruitment of minority groups. So by, so by reading this article, you'll have the opportunity to digest specific strategies that researchers have used to successfully engage racial and ethnic minority groups in clinical research through authentic mechanisms across the different levels of community engagement. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.